Hi, this is Azza Chamberlain and you're watching True School Sports. <laughs> well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something that the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from not just one, not just two, but many, a, a, a vast array of people who are who are part of the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. A lot of the subscribers of the channel, the regular viewers have been asking me, BT, what do you think about Christian and Billy? BT, Brendan, the Untouchable, True School, what do you think about Christian and Billy out there in Canada, knocking motherfuckers out? Now, truth be told, up until you guys badger the hell out of me asking me about who, who, who is Christian and Billy, or ask me what do I think about them, I didn't know who Christian and Billy even was. I didn't know nothing about no damn Christian and Billy, so... I took some time tonight. I had it. I went. I went. I watched some highlights. Um, I do know that just well, last night, at the time he's shooting this, he just knocked out DeAndre Ware in two rounds. So uh, yeah, he beat uh, DeAndre Ware. He knocked out a uh, former, former world title challenger Najib Mohammadi. So he's doing what he needs to do. Like he's with Eye of the Tiger Promotions. He beat Ronald Ellis. So he's doing what he needs to do. He, the, you know, he's, he's getting the right opponents, the right fights at the right time. He's developing. The, the Mark Ramsey and the fine folks at Eye of the Tiger Management, they're doing right by him. And he's doing right by his team by, by, by knocking motherfuckers out because he's 22 and 0, 20 knockouts. And, he, and he's getting himself into that super middleweight title picture. I mean, when we look at the rankings, if we, when we take a quick look at the rankings, he's ranked number three in the WBC, just below Caleb Plant. Um, so, you know, this is a guy that could be challenging for a world title sooner rather than later. And I'm going to tell you guys this about Christian and Billy. You know, Christian and Billy is a guy that, you know, I've literally probably only just watched a video or two of him. And I am a fan. Like, per personally, like, honestly, I don't care if he ever wins a world title. Would it be nice? Cool. But I don't even care if he does. Like, like I want to see him fight. And you want to know why I see him fight? Because he knocks motherfuckers out. That's why I want to see him fight. He's explosive. He's heavy-handed. He's he's super athletic. Like, he's one of these guys that when, 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 when he comes to fight, he comes to hurt you. He comes to put you on that dialysis bag. And that may sound like harsh. That may sound a little scary. But that's how he fights. When he, when he comes and punches, when, when Christian and Billy tries to punch you, he's trying to put you on that dialysis bag. He's punching through you. And he's trying to put you, send you to the hospital, you know. And I, I, I like fighters like that. I like fighters that that come to bring the pain. And he, he definitely comes to bring the pain. Now, in doing more research about Christian and Billy, I, I come to find out that he had quite a good amateur career. He was a a French Olympian. You know, he's originally born in Cameroon. His family migrated to France when he was very young. And now he lives and trains in Canada, um, where he's with Mark Ramsey and and, and the fine folks of Eye of the Tiger management and promotion but when you look at some of the guys so some of the names he'd be in the amateurs first and foremost he beat anthony fire like two or three times right he beat danny dignam who we know just fought johnny beck and then he also he, he uh in 2000 and what where is it uh what year what year what year i had it in front of me uh he beat johnny beck he beat i mean he he lost back to back to Malikuziev. But he also beat Johnny Beck Alan McCauley. He beat Johnny Beck. He beat the guy that everyone was calling the boogeyman at 160 when he was in the amateurs. And we know Johnny Beck was a world-class amateur. Um, so the guy, the guy has some skills. He has some skills. He's physically strong. I mean, when, 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 when God was making Christian and Billy in the womb and, 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 and he was, you know, making how he's going to look, he, he, he took a hammer, right? He took a hammer and he just chiseled him from, from, from the chest to the, to, the, to the stomach, to the back. And when he came out the womb, the man was an Adonis. You know, some, some people are just blessed genetically more so than others. And I feel like on another level, th that, that man is blessed from God with the genetics he has. Now, it doesn't mean that he's going to become this world champion because he's in a tough weight class. Right now, his highest rank ranking is WBC, which means that he would probably have to fight Dea Benavidez if he got a title shot. Now, could Christian and Billy right now beat Dea Benavidez? I don't know, but I'd love to see it because that would be a great firefight, you know, um... Benavidez is kind of like Christian and Billy on a higher level, in my opinion, because uh, like Christian and Billy, he likes to throw high volume and he's heavy handed. He has that he has that rare combination of being high volume and heavy handed at the same time, like Christian and Billy does. So I, I feel like that could be a fight for the ages as far as excitement goes. But the thing is, 
right now, a lot of people don't know who Christian and Billy is. Um, shit, I'm just really just now getting onto him. I mean, I've only I've only been hearing about him in my comment section for like the last month or so. So he's really just come onto my radar recently. So I know if he's I know if he's just come onto my radar recently that most people in the boxing world um, who, who aren't in Canada, all right, they don't know who he is yet. But they will soon. They will soon. I'm I'm sure Christian and Billy will get his chance. On a big platform, on a big Showtime card, and he'll deliver one of these type of big ass knockouts that he's been he's been giving you. But um, I like him. I, I I'm a fan. I'm an instant fan of the guy because he comes to fight, he comes to bring the pain, and um, yeah, I, I feel like I mean I, I have to go watch more fights of his, but I feel like just from what I've seen, I, I, a guy that will beat him is going to be someone that's a boxer with good stamina. You know, so maybe like if if he does fight like maybe like a Caleb Plant, that could be a fight that winds up being problematic for him. But I'll tell you this: Caleb Plant get caught by any of them big ass overhand rights like DeAndre, DeAndre Ware got caught with, then shit, he might he might just take that Canelo money and pack it up and just stay in Las Vegas at his nice home with his with his with, with the beautiful Jordan Plant and just say I had I had a great career in the sport of boxing because that that's the kind of ferocity that Christian and Billy can fight with and. You know, I'm looking forward to his name becoming more relevant in the super middleweight division. You know, Benavidez has been talking about moving up to 175. Could maybe, I'm just saying, could Christian and Billy and a fighter like him with his attributes, could that be the reason why Dave Benavidez is talking about moving up to 175? Because he is a guy that people don't know about yet. That motherfucker is very dangerous. And that's what... People will like to classify as higher risk, low reward. Now, I don't like, I don't like to classify guys like that because a fight is a fight to me. But that's how these managers think. So, um, yeah, really good fighter. You know, uh, French Olympian. Beat Danny Dignam. Beat Johnny Beck. Beat Anthony Fowler and the amateurs. Uh, you know, beat Ronald Ellis so far. Beat a former world title challenger. He's being two former world title challengers, actually, and I think in the Ronald Ellis and uh, Najib Mohammadi, and he just recently scored a knockout victory over DeAndre Rowe over the weekend. So uh, he's he's, make, he's making some noise. He just think about him as he hasn't really fought too much on American television, and when he has, he's fought like on Ring City USA on the undercards and things like and things like that. So he needs uh, that one big opportunity, and I feel like it's gotta come soon because uh, he's he's highly ranked. He's getting knockouts, and and now now. Christian and Billy is officially official. He got he got he got himself a true school sports video. So now now he's really official now. So now he gotta get a big opportunity now because he's on true school sports. So with that being said, uh, yeah, that's my, my that's my thoughts on Christian and Billy. I got his video. I got him in the rotation now for fighters I'm gonna talk about. So I'll definitely be checking out to see what he's doing in the future, and 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 following his career because man, the guy is fun as hell to watch. And quite frankly, like it'd be nice to see him win a world title. But I don't care if he wins a world title. I just want to watch him fight. I will pay money to watch him fight. That that that's the biggest compliment I can give any fighter because being somebody that can get into fights for free, there's very few fight fighters that I would actually like pay to watch fight. He's one of the guys I would pay to watch him fight because he, he he comes and he fights with a certain level of tenacity that I like. You know, kind of like um, Art Better be when he fights. You know, not as skillful as Art Better be but in his own way, fights that same sort of tenacity. So uh, yeah, on that note, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about Christian and Billy? Uh, if you haven't checked him out, I would advise you to go do so. He's really fun to watch. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. And I think uh, True School Sports, he's the truth. One of the best YouTube. The best. Ooh, the, the number one. Number one. Brandon, you've been there, man, and you're building up a good following Thank with you. us. Thank you. And I'm proud to be a part of what you're doing, too. Mm -hmm. You are spectacular. And, uh, you know. Thank you, man. All the best through school boxing and keep up the good work.